So hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So I am Dheeraj from Smart Interviews and today we will be solving questions from Lead Code Contest. So yeah guys, let us solve the third question in the Lead Code Contest. So in this question, what he is trying to mention is, this question is same as the previous question, right? Which is queries one. The exact question is same, but only one thing he added is this condition this condition whatever the queries that that he has given to you if you select any two queries this condition will never be satisfied that is what he is basically trying to mention okay now let us see what this what this condition means okay what this condition means let's say let's say i have few nodes let's say i have few nodes let us say this is node 1 from node 1 I can reach to node 2, from node 2 I can reach node 3 and from node 3 I can reach to node 4, node 4 to node 5, node 5 to node 6, 6 to 7. Let us assume the first, just focus on this first one, okay. So let us assume that uh, I have give you something like this. 2 to 4 and then 4 to 6 okay and the next one is 2 to 5 and then 4 to 6 okay and then 2 to 6 and then 3 to 4 and the last one is um, 2 to 7, 3 to 5. So here I have uh, basically written the cities and the newly added roads. Okay. What is the condition here? Queries of i of 0 is less than queries of j of 0. Okay. This is satisfying. And uh, this should be. Okay, and uh, 4 should be less than 7. Now, here is the condition satisfied. 2 is less than 5. 2 is less than 5. Fine. Is 5 less than 4? No. 5 is not less than 4. Hence, this follows the given query. This follows the given condition. He mentioned that there are no, that there are no two such queries which follows this condition which means in the given queries array if you select any two queries and if you see the if you see them if you compare them it will never be satisfied this condition and that is what happened here okay now let us do the same thing for the second one okay and here we have 2 to 5 and then 4 to 6 okay is 2 is less than 4 yes and is 4 is less than 5 yes and 5 is less than 6 here 2 is less than 4 4 is less than 5 and 5 is less than 6 here did it follow the condition yes which means which means what he mentioned there are no such queries but there is a query here which means here it doesn't follow the condition Okay, which means here it is, it follows the conditions. Okay, till now just remember that. Now here, here we can go from 2 to 6 and then from 3 to 4. 2 is less than, okay, 2 is less than 3 and uh, 3 is less than 6 and 6 is less than 4. Here it doesn't follow because 6 is not less than 4, right? So we will simply Okay, here it follows, right? Here it doesn't follow. Now the next one, from 2 to 7, we can go. And then from 3 to 5. So 2 is less than 3 and 3 is less than 7, but 7 is not less than 5. Hence it doesn't follow, right? And that is what we want actually. So your entire logic will depend on only this one condition 
you can able to come up with the logic only if you have understood this condition now see the graph see the graph here okay here it follows right sorry here it doesn't follow that is what we want here it follows here it doesn't follow here it doesn't follow that is what we want now see the graph see the graph what do you understand here the links are separated by the nodes that is what we can see in the first one as they do not overlap okay they are not overlapping okay see? second one is if you see here from a particular city to a particular city we are going and in between this range there is a new node which goes outside of this existing range right which violates the condition and here if you see here if you see i have a road and it mean and in between this node i can have any nodes i mean any route okay so what do you observe from this one thing is so first observation is whatever the roads that are there in the graph let us assume this as a b c t e and f now whatever the nodes that are there in the graph it will go in the following way only one is it can make a big road and in between and inside this big road they can have small roads like this okay this is one way okay another way is it can make a big road and it can have multiple small roads but these multiple small roads will be inside this big road only okay that is the second way second one and what the queries cannot have is if i have a road something like a to d i cannot have a road which starts inside of this a to b road and which goes and which goes outside of this road so here this road started inside of a comma d but went outside of d right which is nothing but overlapping so this cannot happen so if this cannot happen then how can i find the shortest path how can i find the shortest path for each query let me explain that is also pretty simple so let's say a or for it about a let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and let us say we have 10 cities okay so the first query is now just focus on this i have 10 cities actually it should start from zero but for now just assume it starts from one okay now my first query is i have a road which starts from city 3 and it goes to city 7 okay i have a road which starts from city 3 and it goes to city 7 which means the road will be something like this now tell me now tell me if i have a road which starts from city 3 and which which goes to city 7 does these roads are mandatory for me like if i see if i want to reach the destination node i will prefer 1 to 2 2 to 3 and then 3 to 7 but no matter what is the case i will never go in this way right which is 3 to 4 right that is obvious i i will not go inside this because it uh, it will not give me the shortest path so what i will do i will simply neglect or i will simply remove this notes okay i will simply not links i will simply remove these notes now if you ask me what is the shortest path what is the shortest path how many notes are there 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 which means if there are seven cities there are six notes right so my answer is six here for example let me give you one more thing don't consider this as a set okay don't consider this as a set sorry don't consider this as a graph okay 
assume we have a set data structure and in this set i have all the cities initially 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay now the query is 3 to 7 which means there is a link from 3 to 7 if i have a link from 3 to 7 do i need 4 to 5 or from 5 to 6 i don't need right so what i will do i will simply remove them so what i will do i will simply remove them now what is the length of the given array 6 i will simply print 6 as my answer that's it this is the logic but what if what if if i got a new query which says i have a link from 4 to 6 i have a link from 4 to 6 look at this graph so i got a new link from 4 to 6 p okay uh, now look at this even if you got a new link from 4 to 6 this link will be inside the big road right this this is a small road 4 to 6 this small road is inside the bigger road that we have already so even if you create a new road from 4 to 6 the length or the shortest path from 1 to 10 will be the 6 only right because you will go to here and then to here from here you will go to directly to 7 you will not insert this link because it is the shortest right so if we have understood the logic write the code okay so we have seen that our previous code is not working right so let me delete it so here what we are going to use is simply a set so in our set we are going to insert all the nodes all the cities so int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus set dot insert of i if this node is present which means there is a link from a so city to so city okay and we need to return the answer in the form of a vector so let me create a vector okay so now i need to simply iterate on the given queries for loop it queries so it is nothing but an iterator so i will get from which city this road is being constructed or a new road is being added uh, int x equal to uh, or let me call it as int from is equal to it of 0 int 2 is equal to it of 1 okay now now if you look at here there is a function called as lower bound there is a function called as lower bound if this value is not present it will simply find the value which is just smaller than this value which is from but we need to pass it as plus one okay and we also have as upper bound upper bound is equal to s dot upper bound of 2 minus 1 so if the x value is not present then we are simply looking for a value which is immediately greater than x so we are going to pass it as 2 minus 1 okay so now is yes. so once we got these two values one is lower bound and one is upper bound what we are going to do is simply erase all the nodes which are present in between these two nodes because we got a one bigger road here we don't need these small small roads anymore so what i will do i will simply do s dot erase from lower bound to upper bound okay s dot is from lower bound to the upper bound and uh, answer dot push back out set dot size here i will simply return the answer run the code mm, what is better okay queries need to be passed as queries Okay, it's not ST, it's S only, my bad. Okay, we are getting a wrong answer, which is, we are getting 3 to 1. 
okay where this is coming from acha okay okay my bad okay it got submitted so these are the three questions that we have discussed for this contest hope you like it and uh, if you like this video please do share like subscribe and uh, see you in the next video